<clears throat> Hi, welcome to Ricarte's Crossing. Okay, card of the month with the Rain Coast Pocket Tarot. This card is the King of Candles for this month. And my initial thoughts was passions, enterprises, ventures and opportunities. Now we know that the King of of pentacles has a whole lot more information than that it's just a sort of a beginning the sense of maybe it's a mature masculine type energy um, someone who maybe it is somebody who is um, ready for a new adventure maybe someone who is um, adventurous could be mature energy, someone who's quite practical in his um, desires, practical in his sense, or in their sense, I shouldn't say his, maybe their sense of um, their creativity, their ambitions. So I feel it's somebody who's um, deeply active as well. Someone who could be quite, you know, doing a lot of thinking about their creative pursuits. Quite, um, you know, thinking a lot about their ambitions and where they're at. Because I think of kings as being quite airy. So there's someone who's quite intellectual. Kings can be somebody who is, um, like I said, intellectual, somebody who is very practical, but also very thought-related, um, being able to communicate clearly about a situation, uh, somebody who could be a sense of being able to Think about things or make things happen. I feel like somebody, maybe it's somebody who can make things happen in the moment. So that's something I'm sort of thinking about, King of Candles. So let's have a look. Using the Rain Coast Dreams. Okay, I'm thinking about Rain Coast Dreams. So seeing if it can sort of give me a little bit more information about the king of candles we want a little bit more information so the card here is only those who fly can feel the earth so it's, i think it's a sense of believing believing in yourself that you can move forward on this journey The second card we have here is don't live your life in the shadows of another. Again, you get that sense of believing that you can um, be who you truly are within this journey. I'm usually loving those cards. Third card here is it about embrace your duality. So it's embracing both your um, active maybe and your nurturing um, aspects of yourself Aspect, expect um, being able to embrace the duality the yin and yang of oneself the shadow aspects the stuff that we deny about ourselves and the stuff that we show the world so the things that we keep hidden and the things that we are open about we it's about embracing all of us all of ourselves in this journey and allowing ourselves to have the sense of being able to reach our goals reach our desires our adventure you know move through the adventures that we actually want as we sort of don't live in the shadows of others we sort of stand out for who we truly are within ourselves and that's okay so that's quite an interesting sort of something to think about for this month. I don't want to get too, too bogged down. Let's just choose um, 
the Rain Coast Oracle as well. I just want to choose one card to sort of focus on with this as well. It's going to be quite a sort of a full-on month, so I feel like... So what are we pulling out here? Okay, actually three cards have flown out. So let's have a look. The first one is be careful with sudden effectuation. So it could be a month that even though we're sort of moving into um, adventures or moving into new possibilities, maybe thinking about where we, where we want to be and what we want to do, Again, we get that sense of, you know, that shadow aspect standing behind others. So don't be infatuated by other people. Think about yourself is going to be super important. The next card we want to think about is stop and take a breath. You know, don't be in a hurry. Take a moment, slow down for a minute. It's really important. And don't allow history to repeat. So look at your habits. Look at how you react to situations. So interesting to reflect on these cards. I think that's sort of enough to sort of think about for the month as we think about the King of Candles and what does the King of Candles actually mean to us? Traditionally King of Wands, of course. So again, you've got that sense, sense of a mature energy that sense of in control of the journey that lies ahead very much about finding the passions and the desires and where they're headed so very interesting to think about for this month okay so that's it from me don't forget to check the links down below check the links on my channel like subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded take care